Let's begin with opening Chrome to download Kali Linux ISO file. Here, search for Download Kali Linux. From the search result, choose the official link of Kali.org. Here, you can directly download Kali Linux from this link, or you can also download it from Torrent. I will cancel the download process because I have already downloaded it on my PC. Now, we have to create partition to install Kali Linux. So, right click on this PC. Click on Manage. From here, click on Disk Management. Now, I will separate 50 GB spaces from this drive, because I have enough free space here. So, right click on the drive, click on Shrink Partition. Here you have to type the spaces on NB. So, 50 multiplied by 1024 is 51,200. And, I will type it here. Now, click on shrink. Finally, you can format the newly created disk by right-clicking on it and choose new simple volume. After completing you can see the new disk is ready to use. By similar ways, create another 4 GB partition for swap area. The next step is to download RUFUS to make install operating system from pendrive. So, search for Rufus on Chrome and go to its official website, rufus.ie. Scroll down and click here to download. After download is completed, open it to create a bootable device. Select the ISO file that you have downloaded and click on Start. It will take some minutes to complete the process. Now, restart your PC. Press F12 or to select the bootable media. Choose your bootable media, pen drive. From the Kali installation menu, choose graphical install. Select your language. Select your location. And finally choose your keyboard layout. Now, it will detect all the hardware and load components from installation media. Select No and click on Next. Now provide host name, domain name, username, and password. Choose your time zone. Now select manual. We have already separated 50 GB spaces to install Kali on our system. Select that drive, and remember that bootable flag must be on. Change use as ext4 journaling file system. Choose mount point to root. And, format the partition to yes. Now, click on done setting up the partition. Now, you have to create swap partition. If you have not created swap partition, then first separate the partition from your previous 50 gigabytes partition. And, under a change use as to swap area. Click on done setting up the partition. And finally click on finish and continue. Choose yes and click continue. Now, the installation process will begin. Here, you have to select the default software to install on Kali. Do not follow by selecting all items, as I do, because installation will take whole day. After installation is completed click on continue.
From the booting menu of Kali, let's choose Kali Linux. Enter your password. It works. Now, let's shut down and boot Windows. It works. Thank you for watching and if you have any difficulties then comment below. And please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel.